Oh, welcome back to the marvelous Mara. Uh, oh, I see a lion, I think, and an elephant, all in one. Sorry, the synchro mesh is a bit out on this vehicle. I think that's a lion sleeping there. Is it? No, it's a stump. But there are lovely ellies. Well, there is a lion around here somewhere in the long grass. So I'm just trying to have a quick look. Uh, apparently there is a lion very close to where these elephants are, but they're off the road somewhere. We might not be able to see them. Oh, and one quickly for our birders, Senzo, for their Kenya lists. A Cape turtle dove up in that tree there. There we go. So I know a lot of you are trying to build your Kenya list. Now, there are quite a few more species. Oh, Senzo, am I going to sell you down the rabbit hole? Uh, where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, no, it's gone. Sorry. It was a white-headed sawwing swallow. I will keep an eye out for them coming back. Ooh, but look, I see some other stuff happening behind us. Something just disappeared into the grass next to us here. Now, some of you might have seen it, some of you might have not. I can hear it. I can hear it. Where are you hiding? It's about here, and it's being a trickster. It was a yellow-throated long claw, but keep a look out, they might pop out again. Remember, hashtag Safari Live, if you've got any questions for us, we would love to hear from you. One second, I'm just going to go have a chat with one of the Angama guides. Hello. Oh, just one second. How are you today? How's your game? Any news for me? Um, I know what you're looking for. <laughs> I think they're behind us. Apparently there's a Kichwa Dume somewhere back along this tree line. Oh, yeah. They haven't found it. They haven't found that. it. Okay. But they, they, they're just talking to that guy. And, but they said that he was somewhere there. Oh. In his grasslands. <laughs> I've heard two different stories. We're going out opposite directions. <laughs> Must be. But it's a traffic jam now, so I'm just waiting. So I'm just checking to so Alice is one of uh, the magnificent and wonderful Angama guides who've made sure I haven't got lost and uh, fallen in a hole somewhere in the Maasai Mara. So um, just having a quick catch up. Uh, remember, I will get to your questions in a second. John, I think it was. Uh, but here we go. Oh, it looks like our traffic jam is opening. So after you, Alice. Oh, well, we're live. You've got to be smooth while live. <laughs> Okay, so we've just, there's, this is why there's such a traffic jam in this particular spot, is uh, there's a, a, a lugger, and what a lugger is, is a, what we call a dongo or a drainage line. The big difference between luggers and dongos that we get in the Sabi Sands in South, Af Safi Safi, um, in South Africa is, of course, that most of these are filled with water here, and with this volcanic ash that makes the soil so wonderful here, makes them very, very sticky and muddy, so there's very few safe spots to cross them. And this is actually a little bridge across them. So, yeah, so it sounds like, and there we go, you can see here, well, it's not exactly a raging torrent, but I, you would definitely get stuck if you tried to drive through this little lugger here. Okay. Now, Alice seems to think the lion is lying up ahead on the grassland here. Oh, hello, Ellie's. There we go. I'm just going to sneak past the elephants. John, John is wondering how loud is an elephant's trumpet in comparison to a lion's roar? Oof. 
I'd say it's it's quite different because an elephant trumpet, or actually an elephant, uh, they do roar uh, as well, sort of a uh, when they're upset or angry. Um, I would say that uh, an elephant probably more piercing, whereas a lion is deeper and, and can probably be heard from a lot longer a distance. So I wouldn't know exactly the decibels, I'm afraid. Now, let's see where this lion is. It's somewhere here in the grass. Now, this area here is actually called the chain lands. Now, that sounds like a very strange area, or strange name for, a, for an area, but apparently before this was deemed a no off-roading zone, many people attempted, and what happened is they had to get, come and get pulled out by a tractor with a train. With a chain, not a train. I lost my train of thought. Ooh. Oh, sorry, we're just trying to see now. Now, would you believe that a massive male lion can sometimes be incredibly difficult to see? I think he's quite far, to be honest. Ah, there. I got him, I think, Sins. You see what I'm looking at? It could be not a lion, but let's have a check. Okay, so let's go zoom. Okay, slow down, slow down. Um, okay, zoom a bit more. There's a stick. And let's go to the left slightly. Hey, what's that there? Just zoom in there. That is very much a stick. But did you see in front of the stick, Senzo? A little bit down. Look at that, that's male line. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to have sharp eyes out here in the Mara. You have to spot it from a mile away. Now, can you believe that is an adult male lion lying flat in not very long grass? Ooh, but birders, what is that behind him? Because that is a very flat cat. So, he sends, if you go up a little bit, are we on full zoom? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, um, I just want to have a look in my binoculars. It is quite far away, but I'm pretty sure... It is just a, it's a fiscal shrike in the distance. And there you can see uh, one of the entrance gates to the park in the background. There we go. It is a fiscal or common fiscal and a very, very flat cat. Oh, there we go. He moved his leg. Um, so we know where the cat is. We were looking at the bird. <laughs> but because uh, the cat is so flat. I, 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 <laughs> so, so I don't think this lion's going to move anymore. I think I'm going to head towards Mitya Maziwa, which means the milk tree, which is a euphorbia, and that is the area where the Angama pride keep their cubs. Before we get caught in another traffic jam around a flat cat. We're going to keep moving, see if we can find any more, hopefully not so flat cats. While we do that, let's go to Byron and some interesting eddies.